a shot. Once again, don't align yourself with the enemy. Join the inner circle. Last week, I was simply repaying my debt. I don't think, Chris, you understand what you are looking at. You may recognize my vessel. You may know my name. But there is a different entity, a different essence behind the wheel. I am Damascus. <laughs> and Damascus is over 3,000 years old. Oh, this is so great. When it comes to creating chaos, violence, and brutality, I am practically perfect. Damn. All right, um, Damascus. Uh, if you're 3,000 years old, that means you're very wise, obviously. Uh, and listen, I know, I understand what you're doing here. I understand the reinvention. No one knows more about reinventing themselves than me, than Chris Jericho, right? Facts. But when I look at you and I see the, the amazing gothic cloak and the interesting hairstyle, like the red dash, by the way, that's really sassy. Um, sassy? Point being is this. Outside, you look very different. But inside, you're still the same Matt Hardy that I've known for 25 years. I can say the same for you. Like the chameleon. It's called you a chameleon. You've changed many times over the last two decades that I've known you. But inside, you are still an evil essence rotten to the core. Truly a hole of the ass. It's called a hole of the ass? Once again. You're missing this, Matt, like you always have in your entire career. You're the same oh, this is old great. Matt Hardy, always a step behind, never quite on top, always living in the shadow, Ooh. living in the shadow of your younger brother, Ooh. living in the shadow of bad booking, Ooh. and now you're living in the shadow of Le Champion. I am not in anyone's shadow. As a matter of fact... Mega of pain, my broken brilliance is shining brighter than ever. No, this is great. Okay, great. Then apply that broken brilliance and that wisdom from being 3,000 years old and make the right choice. I'm going to give you one more chance. I'm going to ask you one last time. Are you inner circle or are you elite? Rose going to find out we're trendy number one. Delete! On the oh! Not what I said. I said, <laughs> are you inner circle? Or are you elite? Delete! Elite! Delete! Elite! Delete! Elite! Elite! Oh, this would have been amazing elite, with an audience. Stop! 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 Delete! 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 Stop! Can't you see that there's nobody here? <laughs> there's, there's nobody here to chant your stupid catchphrase. You, know, you are wrong! There are essences everywhere in this venue. It is full of essences, and I know typically when you come to the ring, the AW audience that is here, they like to sing along with your theme song, Judas. Ironically, I knew the real Judas. He betrayed me as well, too. <laughs> what? But I think all of these essences and the AW audience at home, they should sing a new song for you. It's a bit of a dad. It goes like this. You and then a circle shall fade away and classify yourself as obsolete obsolete my god i love this you'll fade away and classify yourself as obsolete obsolete this Once is perfect again, Matt, nobody here i banned all fans from aw shows until i say so there's nobody here no there are souls there are essences everywhere here just because you can't see them, don't mean they're not here. I mean, for instance, look over there in 15C. There is one of our greatest presidents, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> On a stand, will not lie. Matt Hardy will not die. Over there, Martin Luther King. <laughs> he still has a dream. That's <laughs> <Mexico, laughs> the everywhere. Okay, listen. I don't see anybody in the crowd just because you can't see them doesn't mean they're not there just because you don't have faith because you don't believe doesn't mean they're not there yes take off your sunglasses because i want you to look ahead and i want you to get a long hard wonderful look at the essence the entity that is going to delete you and the inner circle 
Okay. Um, can't really see an entity in there. Uh, is he in there somewhere? Hmm. I can't see anything. Just the same old Matt Hardy. Uh, maybe I should smack it out of you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that connected. You could tell Matt felt that one. You really are a wizard. You just <laughs> took out Le Champion with one punch. but yes, uh, we did. I got some magic powers, too. Yeah. Abracadabra. Matt Hardy gets his ass. God, Jericho is the yeah, greatest. Oh, I think I'm sick of it. Take him, get him. Run, kids, put him to lift the position. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. You see what happens? Oh, you see the police. No, no, Cody with a chair. And Kenny Omega's got a chair. Oh, that's a botched chair shot, but. I love this theme, man. This whole thing, this whole segment was perfect. The drone and Jericho promo, that teleporting to the ring, like that is amazing. <laughs> is Matt supposed to be doing it? Did he take Kane's powers with him? That was such a perfect segment, man. That was the absolute perfect segment. I saw some people, they're telling me that was kind of like corny or stupid or whatever. Look, man, I grew up watching The Undertaker kayfabe sacrifice people. I grew up watching Edge and Christian pretend they're vampires and drink blood. This was perfect. Matt Hardy just once again became the most entertaining and interesting character in professional wrestling. Just like that. This dude, when he's the broken character, he is just absolutely phenomenal the delete chance i really like the AEW did with the whole transportation stuff full dragon ball z right there transporting to the ring love that um jericho go greatest of all time that promo with the drone AEW is killing it, my boys. They are killing it. And I cannot wait to see what else they do with Matt Hardy. My hope eventually is that we do get a Darby Allen Matt Hardy rivalry or tag team at some point because I feel the both of them, the story there tells itself the creativity that you could have between Darby Allen and Matt Hardy would just be through the freaking roof. Um, I, I loved it, man. I love that segment. That's a great way to introduce Matt Hardy to your AEW crowd. Obviously, we all know the character. We've seen it. It has worked beautifully. It worked in Impact. It kind of worked in WWE before they pulled the plug because whatever Vince does not create, Vince does not want to push or book. That is just fact. You have to be a Vince McMahon creation to go over in the WWE. The only person that's really worked for is probably AJ Styles. And that's because AJ Styles is, a, is an absolute legend. Anybody else that hasn't been made by the WWE or Vince McMahon never really gets a push. So Matt Hardy's broken character never really had a chance in the WWE because he made that character go over by himself when he was an impact. Now here in AEW, he has the full creative, you know, powers to do whatever he really wants and really has the, the helpings and the, um, the approval from everybody in the back, from Khan, from Cody, Kenny, the Bucks. This is going to be phenomenal. I, I really am interested to see how many years he signed for. Um, I don't think they released the contract details, but Matt Hardy in AEW, it, that is worth the price of admission. That is a very great investment for all elite wrestling. Same with Brody Lee. Same with Lance Archer. I mean, Jake the Snake Roberts. At 60-something years old, after all the battles that Jake Snake has been through in his professional and personal career, for him to still be so good at this shit, it is absolutely phenomenal. Jake the Snake Roberts is a legend, man. And, and if you're an up-and-coming wrestler and you want to be that kind of dark essence of a character, or like, uh, just look at any Jake the Snake Roberts promo. That dude is essentially Clint Eastwood at this point, and his promos are just off the charts. My boys, Mal Hardy's AEW now. Obviously, Blood and Guts isn't going to happen anytime soon. From what they have said, they have pushed it back permanently. I don't know what the future holds with everything that's going on. I'm not trying to get into that. I'm sure you guys have heard that shit enough as it is. But AEW continue to give us great wrestling every single Wednesday night. 
Wednesday nights are the one thing I look forward to now every week, my boys. It, it really is. My boys, if you like this video, slap that thumb. Subscribe and join the Hollywood Quick. Links are all down below in the description. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought about that segment. Were you fans of it? Were you not fans of it? If you weren't fans of it, let me know why you weren't. I would love to know your guys' opinion about that. Or if you were, let me know as well. Comment down below. We'll see you guys around. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Too so sweet. <laughs>